What's up, YouTube? Back out again with another video. All right, so I finally figured out how to get Fallout 3 to work on GOG. Steam is a nightmare. Don't buy that game on there because it's not going to work and you're going to have to do a lot of questionable things to get that game to work. But on GOG, it's a lot easier. So before, normally, a lot of people, including myself, when you try to play the game, you'll do what you typically do. Just go to the top, hit install. Everything will download, then you try to open up the game, you'll hit play, and then it will go black for a second, like the game is going to start, then it's going to crash. And I've been trying for the longest to find a solution. I ended up refunding the game, then buying it again, then not playing it because I didn't know how to get the game to work. But I finally discovered how to get your game to work. So what you need to do is not hit this button. What you need to do is go to extras and then go to offline backup installers download this then when you have it downloaded let me see if i can find mine real quick because i have like a bunch of different drives on here once you have it downloaded you can go to your area which i would normally have mine here but for video purposes i don't i normally have mine right now i have mine downloaded in my d in my e slot for downloads it's right here and then you just go to setup for it because i had to figure this out on my gaming laptop it was slightly different so i can get you guys a nice tutorial so then you go on here you want to hit download you want to agree to the eula and everything not sell their game now this is the important part when you go on here you can't put it in the same drive that you already have the game installed because then G the GOG Galaxy is going to read it, try to update it, and then your game is going to start crashing. The files itself in Fallout are fine, but the <clears throat> GOG Galaxy is the thing that's going to have it cause it to have problems. So what you need to do is put it in a different drive. So I put mine here where my fall where my Cyberpunk is. And then from there, then you're going to hit install. It's All right, that took forever. I'm back. I've come back. That took forever. So now. Now that you have your game installed. See that? That was annoying. You don't want that to happen. I would just said update. That's not good. So what you need to do is go over to this icon or icon. You need to go over here, what I just did, and you need to go to auto updates, hit this to not do that. Go there. Now go back to your files. Go to the file where you downloaded the game. If you want to be like me when I'm doing tutorials, you could just copy how I have it. It makes it easier. All right, and then you'll have all your stuff here. So now normally when you try to play your game, it's not going to work. Then you have it here. You're going to hit the application and then your game is actually going to boot up and not sit there and not boot up. And that, <clears throat> my throat. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get Fallout 3 to work on PC. Enjoy and have fun.